from college. I'm telling you and I'm letting you know that this picture is an example of associates. It's an example of associates. But let's take a step back before we move forward. Equivalent ratios. Things are equivalent when they are the same. Volunteer to write that down because my hand hurts. Volunteer to write that down because my hand hurts. Yes, me. Right next to the equivalent ratios, write that. Things that are equivalent are the same. Great, can you read that? It's a little light. Let's do it with a marker. I trust you. Are the same. Now, the chart is asking for a ratio of eyes to somebody's face. It's asking for the ratio of eyes to somebody's face. What's the ratio of eyes to face if you look at your partner? Look at your own face, look at a partner's face. Junior. Two eyes to one face. Two eyes to one face. Yes, but you're not done, huh? My hand hurts. Oh, yeah. I need you. Junior, can you say that again so she can write the ratio of eyes to face? What's an equivalent ratio of two to one? Vincent? Four to two. Let's keep going. <coughs> Alexander, equivalent ratio? Eight to four. Eight to four. Let's keep going. Jorge. Which one? Ten to five. Let's keep going. Diego. Let's keep going. One more. Glendy. Friends, I like that synonym. Um, the same. 
the same. That's interesting. Are these people the same? You're not wrong. I want you to push yourself. Are these people the same exact person? No. But what makes them similar? What makes them connected? Were they graduating? They're graduating. And they probably went to the same college. So there's a connection when we talk about associates. Associates are definitely connected, but they're not the same. So associates are connected somehow, but they're not the same. Last week, I think it was Jordy, and it wasn't last week, it was two weeks ago. When we were doing equivalent ratios, this young man said, you know what, Mr. Burks? Finding equivalent ratios are just like finding equivalent blank. Who remembers what he said? Do you even remember what he said? Finding equivalent ratios is just like finding equivalent what? Remember when we were talking to mom about it? Dig in your memory. I know it's there. We have four teammates who remember what you said. Alexis? Uh, it's like so I want you to think about it. Think about it a little bit, okay, man? Michelle? Fraction. Louder. Fraction. Louder. Fraction. He said that finding equivalent ratios is just like finding equivalent fractions. Because he knows he could write 2 over 1 is equivalent to what else? Use this table. 2 over 1 is equivalent to what, Jayla? Yes, it is. Which is also equivalent to, Anthony, 6 to 3. Yes, it is. Which is also equivalent to, Ray, Use your table if you need it. Yes, it is. Equivalent ratios are similar or associated to equivalent fractions. So when we start to talk about associated ratios, all we're doing is taking ratios and writing them or connecting them to fractions. Oh, you guys are getting soft. When we talk about associated ratios, we're connecting ratios to fractions. My hand hurts again. I need one to two to be written as an associated ratio. Juliana, Juliana pick somebody. Teammate that we have not heard from. Before you come up, earn this pen. What's the associated ratio of one to two? We need to write this as a fraction. Oh, one over two. How's that feel? You're, you seem excited. <laughs> write it down. What about three to four, Lamar? What do you got? Well, I said a full course of fractions. A full course of fractions? Ooh, bon appetit. <laughs> One pack for the more. Two packs for the more. So, so fractions and ratios are associated because they are related, but not exactly the same. Back to page four. Now we're gonna do some work. Again. Now we're gonna do some work. Again. I'm gonna read number one, then I'm gonna popcorn to another teammate to read it again. Then you're going to answer it, and then we'll check it. Number one, I'm going to go first. Is that okay? How the sexy voice do? Give me a little sick on it. It sounds like more of a Which of the following correctly models that the number of red gumballs 
is five thirds is five thirds the number of white gum balls. Zay. Pop on one more person. More participation. I'm digging it. Some people at first were confused or not getting it, and now we're getting more comfortable and they're taking risks. Yes, one more person. Let's go. Pop on one more person. Oh, 
Rosiel and Diego are counting the square. Thank you. 
Can you guys come know, is this shock significant? Significant meaning, if we hit the shock, will we have a higher score? Hold on, I think, did you just say to yourself, I don't know if I can make this? Yeah. Now, let's say, let's express those emotions again, more optimistically. I'll, I'll try.